Hey, real estate friend, we're going to create a brand new website using this new AI tool. Welcome to LPT Success Secrets. I'm your host, Diana, and every week I bring you a brand new AI tool to use in your business. Let's hop on over to my screen so we can take a closer look. We're going to use this new AI tool to create a website. Do not worry, I will have everything listed below in the description where you can download the Google Doc and it will have exactly where to go to use this Gamma app and the prompt that will be used and any additional information that you need. So yesterday I created this relocation guide for the Charleston area. If you are a Charleston real estate agent, do not watch this tutorial. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but please try to make this your own. Don't just copy other people. And I just wanted to show you an example of what I created, including linking to my YouTube channel and the different cities around Charleston. Also, you know, safety, the housing market, and then these are active tabs here. So if you click here to meet Diana, your Charleston realtor, um, it's going to take you to booking on my calendar page where they select it and directly book with me. Um, so these are all interactive buttons over here and then the YouTube channel and relocation guide grabbing it here. Now there will be an icon because this is the free plan. If you wanted to get the paid version, they removed this watermark over here made with Gamma, but that's completely up to you. Now if we go back on the site, it took up 85 credits. I can see my cred credits right here. They only give you 400 on the free plan. It does say that it takes about 40 to create a new gamma and it took me 85 because I had to do so many revisions and also like changing the AI images that were generated. So I'm going to create one from scratch. So you're going to input your own city. I will provide you with the prompt. And what you're going to do is create a new AI gamma. We're going to generate one. And then it says, how many cards do you want? Cards is like slide decks, like how, do, how many do you want? And I would like 10 because anything additional to 10 is actually a paid version. So I'm going to max it out. But if you just have like a couple things that you want to share with your clients, by all means, um, you know, you could customize this to whatever you need it for. Now, the presentation mode is like a slide deck. A website is what I just showed you. And then a document looks like the presentation. I know it sounds funny, uh, but it's more, it doesn't have a lot of, options in there. So you have three choices what to create and they're all included in the free plan. I'm going to go with my website here again and I'm going to go ahead and put in my prompt. So this is create a modern user-friendly landing page for a re relocation realtor specializing in Beaufort, South Carolina. The page should showcase the benefits of moving to Beaufort and web sources that we need to scrape to gather recent data, relevant information, um, you know, Beaufort's charm and appeal, cost of comparison, housing market statistics. And then I'm just going to put right here, etc. There is a, a limit to what you can put over here. And we're going to just generate an outline to see what chapters that they are including. So we have discovered a charm of low country living, cost of living in Beaufort, Beaufort's thriving real estate market, rich history, outdoor recreation, healthcare and educational opportunities, business and job climate, tips for moving to Beaufort, connect with our relocation specialists. Okay, so I actually like all of these and I could Go ahead and press continue. As you can see, this will cost 40 credits to create this gamma. You can change those if you want to, but um, I found out that I outline would work for my needs. Now this next thing here is that we are going to pick a theme. And as you can see, there's not that many options. Now, since Beaufort is a coastal city, I try to stick with blues just because we're on the water side and I'm gonna go ahead and probably use this one let's see how that would look 
I don't want it to be purple, I actually just want it to be blue. Um, so yeah, or this one looks a little bit better. This is <laughs> this is the one that I chose for the Charleston. Okay, so I'm just going to continue with this one. I'm going to generate. Unfortunately, they don't have a lot of themes, but you can create one from scratch if you want to. But this is to simplify everything and make this super easy and clear for you. And in a matter of a couple minutes, you literally have a website being built for you, which is fantastic and this is free um, so let's take a look at how they are creating all of this it did take me some time to fix the other web page and let's just see what it came up with okay welcome to Beaufort South Carolina okay Beaufort has Southern Hospitality now these are the ones that you need to activate so you're gonna pick a link so you can change this to say uh, you know, check out the YouTube channel because I have Beaufort playlist with houses featured there. So I'm going to link that to my YouTube page and then activate it there. Contact us. That's where you're going to set up your calendar link or, you know, if you have like a whatever provider like Zoom set up, like my Calendly or calendar tidy cal is linked up already to my zoom and then you can put even your you know uh email if you wanted to so if you wanted to change this or add a button here and then you go to the card templates and you if you didn't want this design you can change the design easily here but also you can have a button so it says text text boxes image with text layout, basic blocks. So right here is like an info box. So I could just put an info box and I could put what I want, like email me here. And then I would like link my direct email site. And then we ha have embedded unfortunately i tried to embed a html code code on here and it did not work um and then we have charts i love using charts so let's see if they did put some charts on here yeah this is like a timeline chart one two three but it doesn't really have okay not not so much of a timeline chart but um here we have some grass. I like this image. It actually does look like Beaufort a little bit. It does remind me of it. Um, outdoor recreation and coastal. I like these icons can be switched as well. So let's say you wanted to look for a boat and then you would click on that and it would just switch the icon showing here. Kayaking. Like this isn't kayaking. So I'm actually going to put boat on that one. Uh, let's see here. doesn't really look like any of these can go with kayaking so maybe I'm just gonna put water all right I think this one will be okay because you're on the water kayaking and then we have beaches hiking fishing okay excellent health care and educational opportunities and then we have business and climate I always check the statistics that are included. So Beaufort's vibrant business and job climate, well, I don't know if it, I would call it vibrant. So I'm just gonna put Beaufort's business and job climate. No one really talks like that. I don't want it to sound like AI written this. So I'm just gonna put and job. I'm just going to rearrange this entire thing. That doesn't make sense. Buford's jobs and and business. I might change that a little bit later. All right, so this says that the employment rate is 3.5%. Well, I'm just going to double check here. Is Buford unemployment... All right, let's take a look here. 
As of June, the unemployment rate was 4.6% according to the U.S. Federal Reserve. All right, so this one says that the rate is 4.6%, per, and this one is 3.5 below the national average. I, I mean below the national average. Um, unemployment rate was 3.40, which is lower than the long-term average. All right, let's just verify that. 3.40. All right, so I'm just going to change that to 3.4 below the national average. Anytime you see any data here, just verify it, uh, just in case. I don't really know what sources they're using here. A great app that I use often is Perplexity, or you can use Gemini. They scrape the web for that. And then we have Relocation Guide, so time timing your move. This is a drop-down, and some people might not know that this is a drop-down, so I'm not really sure I want to include this one. Um, I might just have to change this card template because people might not understand that. All right, so it has three things over here. So this one has three columns. Let's go with that. I just don't know what happened there. That looks awful. All right, um, let's go here. Edit with AI. Try a different layout. So you see how all of these cost coins. So I'm gonna say, try a different layout. And then now you can see that it is designing and this is my new layout over here. Relocation tips for moving to Beaufort. Unfortunately, it deleted that image and you know, that wasn't a bad image. <laughs> uh, but now it didn't have that weird uh, sign that it shows a drop down and nobody knew that it was a drop down. All right, connect with our experienced relocation specialist. And if you want a referral partner, I would be an excellent referral to Beaufort, Charleston, and Myrtle Beach area. Um, and then here has the team, and you're gonna streamline this to you and your contact, just how I did it over here, where I added my, you know, cell phone number and my email, and then my background and my license number, etc. So you're going to put that according to your team or if you're an individual agent, etc. All right, let's just check this really quick. Let's say that you didn't want this arranged this way. So what you do is you could just drag and drop here on the left side. You can drag and drop. All right, so welcome to beautiful South Carolina. And then cost of living. Another thing I'm gonna have to verify all of these statistics if, if it's 20% lower or if it's 10% lower than national average, but I do like how it, look, it looks and it's in the same color scheme of, okay, I don't know why this is like blue. It's not showing blue over here. Okay. Um, yeah, there's just a little bit error over there. I do like that it's coastal theme. And, you know, these are AI generated images. Some of them are cardstock. This is AI generated right here. Um, so I don't have to worry about copyright or sourcing where I have gotten it. So literally, I just created this. And here's where you can add your icon. I actually don't like how any of this looks. So I'm going to leave this blank because it's not going to show up when you publish it. When you're done making all your edits, I'm gonna go back in here, I just don't want this video to be too long. I'm gonna hit publish, and you're gonna see the website link to see what it will look like. So view on site, and here's what it looks like. I'm gonna to have to rearrange this because it's too much blue right beside blue, and I need to break it up with some of this white over here. Um, so let's make that edit right now. So I'm going to close this out. And I said it was too much blue versus blue. All right. So I'm going to move this down here. And then here, this black part, I'm going to move it over here. Over here, because that wouldn't make sense. So it's like history, jobs, creation, healthcare, and education, tips for moving. And over here, I would also add 
uh, you know, links. So I would add links to the school district. And the way that you add links is you would just, you know, find the Beaufort County School District links and link it here or greatschools.org, you know, like the, you know, the rating school system links. And I will put it in here to make it more interactive. All right, let's publish this. Now, I made some changes. I'm going to have to publish it. And let's take a look at what it looks like now. All right, so it's a dark blue, white, blue, light, dark, light, dark, white, blue. Okay, I think aesthetically it's gorgeous. I will probably have to add my picture just to make it, you know, more tailored to me. Add your picture, add your team information, make it personalized, add interactive links here. Um, especially how to contact you, the ways you want them to contact you, your phone number, etc. So I just showed you in a couple minutes how to use this AI platform to create this. Now you can share this link. Um, it will give you a link that you could just share through an email on a landing page when they opt in with your email account. You can share it. Um, and let's go ahead back to the account here so that I could show you. All right, let me see. Oh, home. All right, there we go. So I could show you how many credits left. I have 270 credits. So I could probably create about five more if I'm careful and not do a lot of edits. I could probably create about five more, four to five minimum and it's all for free. I mean, I think I might even upgrade this if I'm creating lots of pages, and maybe neighborhood sites, uh, buyer's guides, seller's guides, etc. Well, friend, what did you think about this new AI tool? What did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? Comment below. I'd love to hear how you are going to use this in your business. If you haven't downloaded the LPT guide yet, what are you waiting for? Comment guide down below and I'll send you the link for free. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. In the meanwhile, check this video out.